Well, today we're looking at how you could get on the internet if you haven't got round to doing it just yet. The good news is, it's never too late. My name is Judith Taylor. I shall be 81 next month, and I have just uh, won an award in the Silver Surfer of the Year Awards, in which I was a runner-up. Well, I've had a computer for nine years now. Um, I first was persuaded to get one by my eldest son, who lives in Australia. He said it would be so much easier for us to communicate with each other. I had uh, a few hours tuition from a local tutor uh, when I had a few problems, and my youngest son has always been there for me to come and help out when I got stuck. One of the first things I did was start to do my major grocery shopping uh, online by signing on to one of the supermarkets and getting my groceries delivered, which was a, a great help because I was beginning to find the physical business of just going out and carrying bags home was very tiring. When I started buying things online, I was quite nervous about giving my card details online. Uh, but um, I learned to look for the yellow padlock, which indicates a secure website. These are pictures of a, a holiday I had up in Cheshire in uh, August. Uh, I did the booking online and in fact we had a lot of correspondence online. I have online billing for my utility bills and uh, it, it, I'm not sure it's an entirely good idea because um, I tend to just let the bills come in and not even open them, whereas if you open an envelope you at least look at it. <laughs> But it's very convenient, and I'm very glad to save paper where possible. Look at that, I'm above Barack Obama. Um, yes, I think what I enjoy most about my computer is, is the blog I keep, which is uh, like an online diary. I'm trying to write my life story now. Uh, I hope I live long enough. <laughs> but the longer I live, of course, the longer it'll be. <laughs> I think I might have been a very lonely person by now, living alone, if I hadn't had the contacts I have through the computer. I think I'd like to pin it on my photo board, actually. Would that be all right? Now, Leonie Vlachos is Head of Digital Inclusion at Ace Age Concern. Now, Leonie, thank you very much for joining us. But you basically make it easier for older people to get online. How? Certainly. Um, well, the first thing we try to do is give people the confidence to take that first step. It really is for them. I think a lot of older people think, well, it's not really for me. I don't know where to go, what to do. And so we offer a, a, a number of online taster sessions at all the local age concern organizations where people can go in, have a bit of taste of what it's like to get online, as well as a number of books, some of which are on your table now, uh, just published the fourth edition of our How to Be a Silver Surfer. Well, what puts people off? We were hearing from Judith mm -hmm. in the report that she was concerned about the security of shopping online, so found some reassurance with the padlock, but what other things are putting older people off from getting online? I think the cost is a big fear for people. They, they think, actually, research has shown, is that the, the, their conception of what the cost is is far higher than it generally is. So concerns about how expensive it is to get online. Also the perception that it isn't for me, as I've already mentioned. Why should I get online? But I think there's a shift in that now. People are seen at the end of all the programs. Go to www for more information. And they, they're feeling that they're missing out. So slowly, they, I think there's a shift amongst older people themselves. I'm not sure we should get too carried away with this idea that older people are sort of antagonistic towards the internet. There's loads of older people already using uh, the web for keeping in touch with family or looking for uh, great bargains. So how, uh, how did they uh, jump into it and then some didn't? What's the thing that encourages people to do it? A word of mouth is a very powerful thing. We found at our local age concerns, once one person's made that step, Judith in the video, mm. she's going to go on to be a fantastic ambassador for the benefits you get. I think she touched on something really crucial when she said, I'd be incredibly lonely if I hadn't taken the step. I think a lot of older people find the networks and then the word of mouth and then take that step. What about actually the whole package you can buy? How easy it is? Let's talk about the actual cost of it getting online. Um, it's not as expensive as people think. I think the most important thing is to decide how much you want to spend and then shop around. Uh, in terms of what my, most older people do on the internet, it's emailing, it's sharing digital photography, it's researching interests such as genealogy, gardening, and you don't need a huge broadband connection for that. So anything from about five, ten pounds would be a fair price for a connection, and you can get a good piece of kit, whether it be laptop or desktop, for around about the three hundred pound mark. So it isn't that expensive, especially when you consider that research has shown you save about two hundred and forty-eight pounds a year uh, by doing paying your bills online and. Oh 
booking holidays. Leonie, yeah. thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. Now, we've got a list of useful websites and phone numbers to help you get online there on our website, which probably isn't much use to you if you're not on the web already. <laughs> Yeah, so if you write in, we'll post them to you. The address is Working Lunch, room 4220, BBC TV Centre, Wood Lane, London, W12, 7RJ. Do write on the envelope the subject, getting online.